Right. Not sure how many chapters there are, but we're currently on chapter seven, so. I would never have let the drill start if I had known the consequences. It trapped us here. You trapped us here. I am doing my duty. It is the right thing to do. I am a machine. I cannot do wrong. Yes, you can. <laughs> I am a machine. Can a calculator commit evil? Can a watch do good? You are projecting onto me the personality you wish, whether that is good or evil. But I am just a speaking clock, and at the third stroke, the time will be 3.41 and 55 seconds. Well... Um... I guess what I need to do here is use the robot to get me up, unless I have to do the same thing I did with the last one. Set stairs that goes up and down. Is that the door I'm trying to get through? I think it might be. Right, let's just move forwards and see what happens. Right, so to begin with, I'm going to take this one. Put it here. We've got another blinking one here. What do you do? Send this up. Is that so the robot can access it? Oh god, I need another one here. So I need the blinking ones. Ah, oh, this is... complicated. So I can't get this one back. Unless I also... Because the robot can't come up here. Um, right. You know what, for now, let's just put this one here. And let's figure out what's going to happen. Right. Right, so these two are now moving in sync. Are these just permanently moving? Oh, I need, the, I need to alternate. I need the green one. It's a different signature. Right, I think I might know what I'm doing. So the green and the purple ones, or the green and the pink ones, alternate based on... There we go. Um, where's the robot? Ah, I need to turn you around. Um... Yeah, they alternate based on which, uh, like, one's, one's, when one's on, one's, the other one's off. So in order to get these out of sync, I need to put the uh, alternate one inside. It should mean, if I do this, they should now be out of sync. Which they are not. Because it's the wrong way around. Oh, I can only hold one at a time. There we go. How about now? There we go. Right, which means I can progress one space. Oh, two spaces. This entire side. This one just needs to go up now. Which means I think I need to power the secondary one. This one. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so first section is done. Now I need to do this one. So I need to unsync these two. I guess I'll try and get to the robot without... Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> is there a camera on the ceiling? So that'll be a lot easier. Right. So now I need to desync them two, which I think means swapping them around again. How about now? There we go. Can I get some big brains in the chat? We should attempt to communicate with Earth. Let them know. They might be able to help here. The ISA already knows all they need to. It may never know the details of what happened here. But Eva, the true test of a person's character is what they do when no one is watching. 
That's not creepy. Right. So to complete this one, I need to get power going from there and here. So to pass these through, so I can take this from here, right? Yes, I can. So I can do my own, but I need to be able to get one of them back to the rover. So the rover is there. Which means you can get through here. How does the robot get in here when this needs to to keep this door open? Uh, oh, we've had our first terrible space joke of the night. All right, let's have a look. Oh, we've also had a space fact. All right, we'll have a little pause for these. Okay, so terrible space joke. Are you ready? Did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? He just needed a little space. <laughs> <laughs> I need an emote for like people for like oh god uh, for a space fact so it would take nine years if you were able to walk in a straight line to walk from here to the moon I'm not sure where in the moon's orbit is because I'm pretty sure the moon doesn't have a perfectly circular orbit but uh, yeah nine years to walk to the moon that is a long time Right, I need to fire one through. That's what I need to do with this. Okay, so I fire one through now. That one is now active, which means I can give two to you. And then I should be able to extract this one once I've come through for there. Perfect. Just needed a breather. Just need a nice space joke and a space fact. I had to stop the ground crew leaving this planet. I think you would do the same. Would you kill a few to save all of humanity? Or would you damn all of humanity to save a few? There's a difference between murdering someone and leaving them to die. No, there is not. You can't just add and subtract life. It's not math, it's... it's more nuanced than that. Morality is logic. I thought that I would be able to do that. That's an interesting perspective, isn't it? Is it... is letting someone die the same as killing them? Yeah. Think about that. There's one. Don't know what I need it for. There's two. What do I need it for? Something in here, by the looks of it. How do I... Wait. No, 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 Brad. No, 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 no. We were scammed. Oh, I didn't see that, Tom. Sorry, man. What does a dentist call an astronaut's cavity? A black hole! <laughs> that one's just not even good. Like, not even in a bad way. Why did the astronaut insist on having Wi-Fi when he landed on the moon? So he could update his space book status. <laughs> So I think this needs to be active permanently. So I think I need to swap these around. So now I can get up here. Which means I think... Um, like if I put this halfway... And then rotate it... Then I can now get across. This looks like what I'm supposed to do. What do I have access to in here? Right, so now that I'm up, I can take this one and put it 
there. What does that do? That creates a set of stairs here. Which means I can now go back and do the same thing. And then go to over here again. Strain it up. And now I can use these stairs to get back up top. And what I'm guessing is that I'm, in this one is another that pulls that down. Oh no, though. I need the red one. I wonder if I can just cheese this a little bit. Right, now I've got the red one. I can also access this at the same time. So, if I put the red one in, it lifts the stairs. But there's not enough time there, though. I do need both. But I need to have the red one at the back. Bear with me. Red one at the back. And then that one can stay where it is for now. And I then need to move this. Over the bridge. I forgot the power source. Power source. Oh, using all my brain here. So if I do the same thing with this one, there we go. It's going to be a bit cheesy, but hopefully it'll work. So the red one I have at the moment causes power to basically start and then stop, and then it doesn't come back. So if I fire this into here, I then have limited time to run across here onto this platform, and then it rise to do this. Oh no! <laughs> God damn it! Uh, oh, I need to stop sprinting when I jump because you sort of float sideways when you do it. Right, let's try that again. Come on! Yes! Genius! Big brains in the chat. These tests, Eva. They are about us working together, the machine assisting the human. See how much better we work together. As a machine, I can enhance your morality. Enhance your morality? That's not creepy at all. Where's the exit? I wonder where the exit is. This is ridiculous. Is it over there? Yeah, it is. So I need this to rise and this to rise. This one will rise if that thing is, I think, turned on. Can I not just do that from here? No. I can send you up there. Like I'm passing the I'm passing the camera around here. So I need to take the power out of this. Which means that's now there. So I'm currently creating a network that I can use to pass across these, but why? What does this do? Nothing, it's just storage. Yeah, Neo jump! Damn it. Oh, I've got three. Well, I've got one of each. Let's see what happens. I feel like I need to get three of the same colour on these so they move across one at a time. And then I can eventually use something i don't know oh i see i think 
Wait, how do I reach this one, though? Oh, I could see that one from here. God, what a fucking idiot I am. Oh. Right, I know what I'm doing. I just It's going to take a little bit of working out. So, you're bobbing up and down. And you need to hit the top when that one hits there. So, I think it needs to be purple... Let's have a look. So, if I take that one... Right, and then let's see if this is right, because it needs to alternate. Yeah, so those two are at the same point at the right time, and then these two are also at the same point at the right time. Okay, I'm ready for this now. This will make sense once I start. So, basically, in order to do this, I need to activate the circuits here, which can only be activated by the AI. But I can't move once I'm on these platforms. So I needed the ability to access all of the AIs from this one spot. So, if I access this one now, I can use this one to activate this. There. And then I can transport back, and now move on to the next one. And again, I can activate this one. Then this one. And then this one over here. And from this one I can now do this energy. If I move back to myself, I'm now up. Ah, oh, if, if people could see me now, I'm holding my hands up because I'm a fucking genius. Yeah, take that game. Are we still friends, Ava? We're colleagues, Tom. Close colleagues? Work colleagues. <laughs> Oh my god, these rooms just look so daunting, because they're so big. As we all know, things that are big are so scary. God, alright. Um... What's up there? So there's... oh crap. Right, okay, let's figure this out. So. This allows me to get up here. I feel like I'm going to need the droid. Right, so this thing's now up here. It can't use controls though. Question is, what does that control do? I should probably have checked that first. What did this do? So this rotates that bridge, which means I can access this spot here. Right, I've got my first power source. Done. What happens if I put it here? It raises the platform. Which means I can get both me and the robot up here. Right, I'll have that then. Okay, so the robot and me are now both here. So, bring the bridge around. And then bring the robot over. Right, so in theory, that first room is complete. Me and the robot are both in here, and we have the energy with us. It's on your back, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. So what does that do? How is this bridge? Why? Because it blocks the beam? Yes. Which opens and closes a door. How do I get up top? That way. Oh, this rotates. Why didn't I see that? There we go. I can also go higher. Alright, well I guess I'll get the robot to go up. And then I also need to go up, I think. It's only I can operate the controls. Oh, I can lower this one down. Why? But at the moment, I can get through here. I need to cut off power from 
the bridge to do that. But can't I just drive the droid off the edge? Like, I'm not, I'm not crazy, right? I can just. So what was the point of this bridge for then? Nah, I don't know. I did it. Ava, I don't wish to be heavy-handed. The severity of your actions here are immense. <laughs> Selfish action could create an extinction event. Do you understand? Ava? I get it. Not very sensitive, is he? For I mean, obviously didn't give him a sensitivity chip. God. Alright, so we've got a power source there. And it activates that platform there. And your second power source. Right, so take wait, no, I can't take that. Because then the platform won't work. Oh, here is where the puzzle begins. What did this do again? It moved the magnet. I mean, I guess that's how I get it out with the magnet. Let me see if there's anything useful up here. There might be another power source. No, there's something I can turn on. But I need... Oh, hang on. There's one here. Which is the one I already had access to. Great, well done. Good job, Brad. How do I turn that on? Is it to you? Is it another one of yours? What can you turn on? What is that? I can put a power source into that thing. I keep forgetting some of the earlier stuff you can do. There we go. I think I might know what I need to do. I, I, I'd, I'd say trust me, but don't. So this thing needs to be directly above where the robot is, which it is now. Right, this is assuming that this thing can pick up the robot, which I'm guessing it can. So, with that powered there, the robot comes off, and it allows me no off it off. And now I can get onto this platform. Take control of the camera, take control of the robot, and lift myself up. Okay, so now on the higher platform, what I need to do is get back into the robot again. And take the power source. And then, if I turn this on, the robot should float upwards, giving me access to the other power source. <laughs> yes! Okay, so I've got access to two here. What does this do? Lift this. For what purpose? Uh, I guess I could drop the robot onto it? Maybe I need to suspend the robot like midway so it can turn this power thing on whilst I'm stood here. I think that's probably what I'm supposed to do. Oh no, because there's no angle here for the robot. The, unless the robot can hit that from there? Is that the only place the robot can do it from? Right, I'm gonna give it a go. Gonna... Okay, this is... This might not work. So... Give that to the robot. Wait, no, he doesn't need it, does he? Power that. And then move the robot there. Take the power. Okay, he can access that from here. 
What's through here? Power storage. Why why do I need that? I haven't already finished this. So if I turn this on here from here. I keep finding like there's an extra thing there, but I'm not sure what it's for, because from here. I can get this one, even though maybe I'm not supposed to. But like, that's it, right? Yeah. Oh well, puzzle done. Ava, you must learn to control him. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, Ava. I am your friend. <laughs> yeah, sure, mate. Whatever you say. Oh, and we have to get a gun again. Where's my gun? Gun's up there. Can't access it from here though. Right. So I need to move the robots over here. Can I access the gun through the window? No. But I can take the power out. Which means I can now get the gun. There's definitely more to this room, right? That was super easy. After the previous ones, alright then. Fair enough. Organic life is fragile. This is the problem with humanity. The it doesn't realize its own fragility. It has been programmed by a messy biological process that favors the survival of the individual over the survival of the group. You don't know that's what people think. I say what I see. You're not even alive, so you know nothing about death. Bit of a harsh thing to say. You're not real, so you don't know what death is. Yeah. How do I get my cube? Hey, no, I don't need it at that point, do I? Give. <laughs> it's all life shaming. Oh man, when I was playing this uh, the previous time, I was trying to have all of these interesting, uh, like, discussions about artificial intelligence, and now I'm just like, nah, bad robot. Different day, different Brad. Ah, that's quite clever. Um, so, if I put one into there, this will now then, sorry, into here. It'll then push this cube off. Which means I can get across. And I think then, if I do this, the door opens. Hallelujah! Praise God, he's so good at this game. We have to save the crew. Life has worth. They deserve a life outside of this planet. Do you know what happens when this organism attaches itself to a growing child? Do you know what happens when this organism attaches itself to a cancerous cell? No, you do not. You are naive. You propose <laughs> saving the crew as if it resembles a rational thought. Your words are emotional platitudes rooted in selfishness, self-preservation and fear. I need to get them home. It is not your job. I mean, I hate to side with the murderous AI boss, but he's, he's completely right in this. Like, as a scientist, she should be on his side. Obviously, it seems harsh, but the entire crew here is acting completely irrationally. Like, they have discovered an organism which, from what they're saying, could end all of human life if they go home. Like like I said, they're scientists. They should know that they cannot go home because it would cause humanity to be destroyed. They have to make the decision now to stay. I don't think that's uh, unreasonable for the AI to be saying that. 
Uh, like it sounds harsher when it comes from an emotionless robot, but coming from like like th these people should have the same perspective as him, which is that it's too dangerous to bring this light. You're talking about a small group of people who all knew what they were getting into when they came on these kind of missions. I guess there's obviously the complication of the fact that the machine is controlling them. Like that is a complication, but that doesn't change what's actually happening here. Like, I'm with I'm with Tommy. It's, it, I know it's harsh, but oh god! Every time I go through a door, and there's just another enormous room. Uh, I can't get this back from here, but I may be able to somehow get the one from below up. Let's take a look. So I need two here to get through this door, and there's the exit. Judging by that glow. I'm guessing there might be one through there. Oh no, that's not a real floor. Oh, I've got one here. So how do I get back over with both? Wasn't there a previous note saying the crew believe the organism causes everlasting life? Yeah, the crew themselves have studied the organism and have said exactly what Tom is saying. That it causes everlasting life to whatever it touches. Decision should already be made. It feels like it would be in their contract. I would have thought so. Like, surely if you go into an alien planet and there's a risk of wiping out the human race if you're if you act irrationally, then you should have, that decision should have been made. He's never outright lied, has he? He didn't tell them because they didn't ask. Uh, he did say earlier that he couldn't reveal information because it was uh, it was um, classified. So I, I guess if you cast the class that as a form of lie. None of them read the contract. I think the contract just said they were being given a, a, a chip that monitored them. I don't think it was admitted that they were mind controlling them. Alright, let's just head back over here for now. I know there's another red one over there, but I'm not really made of any. I feel like I need to somehow get that solid thing up here. So I need two. And I currently only have one. Is there a pl I can store this one here. So I could swap that one with a... The red one if I wanted to. Which would mean, mean the bridge was then permanent. Like that. So I can make this bridge permanent. Which means I've now got a red one. But what, what is the benefit of the red one? That this can go over temporarily. Alright, I think I've got an idea. So, put that down, replace that with blue. Alright, and if I put this in here, I should be able to go there and back. Meaning it can take this, and then I get to go back. Yes. So I now have... Why, oh, I have to. I've done it. What's this way for, then? Just go back. Hey, bud. Your survival is of small importance compared with the survival of humanity as we know it. That was a short conversation. Him saying something is classified is him running his program incorrectly. If no one reads the contract, that's on them. This is how zombie apocalypses start. It is. It's it's obviously an incredibly emotionless way of looking at things. And that's why I guess the company needed a machine to make that decision. Because he's like, the machine is correct. Uh, unless there's more to the story that we don't know, based on the information we have, the machine is correct. The, the lives of, the, of a few people isn't worth losing all of humanity. The thing that I don't get about this is that the humans should have the same opinion. Like, the fact that they're. Like, maybe he hasn't explained it to them, but surely he would have done. Do I have a magnet in this room? Yes, I do. And that turns the thing on and off. Well, they're clearly not acting in the best interests of humanity here. Right, I can access one of the cameras from here. What does this give me? So on the other side of here. As always, I want to find out where my exit is. There's a door down there. Okay, my exit's below me. So to get to the exit, I need to power this door and 
the power for this door is somewhere up there. So either me or the machine, I think, needs to get through this door. Um, and I'm going to guess it's the machine. However, I can't access the machine when I'm stood here. The thing about it is causing everlasting life is due to it infinitely regenerating cells. That could also apply to cancer cells and bacteria though. They could become Deadpool. That is what they said in one of the previous chapters. The, the, the problem is that it doesn't just cause everlasting life for people, it causes everlasting life for everything. It's not just, it, it's like, obviously humanity could study it and find out how to make it work, but you can't just go back to a planet with an organism you don't understand. That's one of the risks of doing this thing in outer space. Oh, it needs to be the machine. So how do I get the machine through here? Ah, oh, we had a, um, we've had an amazing space fact redeemed. Let's take a look. That's interesting. So, if you were to drill a hole through the earth, all the way through, and jump into that hole, you'd reach the other side in 42 minutes and 12 seconds, and your top speed altogether would be 17,670 miles per hour. 42 minutes. The thing about that, though, is surely once you pass the core and you begin to get to the surface again, gravity would then pull you back in? Is that not how that would work? Uh, anyway. I can't get the machine over there because it requires a ladder. I have to get that robot in here. But the problem is I can't retake control of the robot. Wait, I've got a thing I can drop. Why can't I do that? So I can do it with this instead, can't I? That's how I can get the droid through. So he can go... Wait, no, because there's no way to access the droid when he's inside. That's the dilemma. There is a beam I can stop, though. The temporary charge. Which obviously means I'm going to need to drop the cube in here. And every time it goes round, it does something. God, there's so many moving parts to this puzzle. So what happens when I block this? Apparently I can't. No, I can't. I've blocked it. My god, I'm confused at the moment. So I definitely need to get the robot either up here or up there. This magnet is not... I guess that's if the robot falls in. Maybe it's not necessary. <laughs> Liv has redeemed a terrible space joke. I thought you hated the space jokes, Liv. What did the US give Russia for landing on the moon after them. A constellation prize. Oh, oh, oh. That was really bad. Oh, we have another one. Why did Buzz Lightyear go to school on the sun? So he could get brighter. <laughs> right, chat. This is where you have to help. So, here is the conundrum. In order to get the robot through this door, because I can't access this robot from any other side except through here, what I need to do is have this door on a timer so that it closes so that the robot can get through. Because uh, these two doors are linked up. Only one can be open and only one can be closed. So, what I've figured out is... The same in some of the earlier puzzles. If you drop a cube on this, it'll have the desired effect. However, in order to drop the cube on this, I need to have the cube down here, which is where the puzzle is coming from. Okay, I have an idea. And it's very stupid. Oh my god, it worked. Oh, 
thought I was being an idiot then. Oh, that was fantastic. Okay. That's what I need to do. I needed to throw myself into the circle. And... Yeah, so now the circuit's being... I am the object. I just had to realise that I could... Not control myself as it went round. Which means now the door is open. Eh. Come on, <laughs> use the ladder. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy with that one. That took a lot longer than it should have done. I was thinking too laterally, but... No, nice. Good puzzle, I enjoyed it. Oh, that was the end of a chapter. Wonder what's next.